All right. Welcome back to another episode of the Perfect 10 Podcast. Bold, bold of you to think I wasn't going to have that in my list. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. You, you probably don't even know who Chuck Billy is. Uh, I don't think so. Lead singer of Testament, for those that don't know. Okay. Metal band. <laughs> Anyways, I'm one half of your host, Daniel Dees. I don't even think I said last episode that we're brought to you by Boot Crew Media, dude. Yeah, we are brought by Boot Crew Media. Second half of our host brought to you by Boot Crew Media is Mr. Jacob Birdie. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas, dude. It's Thursday. Coming up this weekend. This weekend. If you haven't gotten your presents together, pull it together. Do better. Yeah. Do better. Yeah. Amazon, I don't think, going to get it to you in time this time. Nope. All right, so today, been a long time coming. We should have did this a long time ago, but we got the top 10 Christmas jams. Christmas jams. Jammies, baby. This is our third Christmas on the pod. That's insane to think That about. is wild, dude. Only going up from here. Each episode, we get higher and higher and higher. Yeah. We improve. Uh, anyway, trivia question? I've asked this before to you. Okay. I think it was the last Christmas episode. Is it the gro- the GDP of the holiday season? Nope, no numbers. I'm not you. <laughs> I'm not you. Uh, all, right. all right. So, what country is Santa Claus from, a.k.a. St. Nicholas? Oh, uh, Norway. No. Oh. <sighs> Give you a hint. It's not a Scandinavian country. Ah. Uh. Ireland? No. You're going too white here. What do you mean, dude? Uh, uh, is, is it Europe? Somewhere in Europe? Yes. Okay. Is it Germany? Nope. <laughs> I don't know, dude. What is it? Turkey. Turkey. Well, then it was like called something else. Meyer, I think it was. Wait, is Turkey not in Africa? No, it's in like southern. It's right between the two. Southwest Europe. I hear you. No, Southeast Europe. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, yeah. That was your little treat. My quick. fingers just cracked like 20 times. I know. I bet it felt nice. <sighs> anyway. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I wasn't going to get there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> you, you'd have made your way if you. I got there at some point, you know. There's only like, what, 27 <laughs> European countries? <laughs> All right, give or take. Regardless, got any honorables, dishonorables? Because I've got only dishonorables. Only dishonorables, dude. I- I'll be real. Whenever we said we're doing this list, I was like, we're gonna overlap every single pick because just stare. The well is deeper than you think. Much deeper than I thought, dude. I actually like. That's why I didn't do. I like my list a lot. I love Christmas music. I, I so like, my, my honorable mention is the field. So my honorable, I got last Christmas by Wham. I didn't want to. I ruined Wham again for a lot of y'all last week. Mm-hmm. Apparently, I didn't know that was a thing where you try to go the entire holiday season without listening to Wham. Impossible. Um, I got uh, "Run Rudolph Run," which I would have sworn to you that the name the name of the song was "Run Run Rudolph Rudolph." Mm-mm. But it's "Run Rudolph Run" by but Chuck. They say "Run Run Rudolph." Correct. Uh, by Chuck Berry. I got "Santa Baby" by uh, Eartha Kit. Mm-hmm. Santa Baby. Uh, a lot of people have a good version of that one too. Yeah. Um, but shout out to Eartha Kit. She's the OG. And I got the Chipmunk song by Alvin and the Chipmunks. Love it. Classic. My kids love it. Yeah, dude, everybody does. It's fun. Yeah. So that's my only honorable. My honorable mention is The Field. Dishonorable. I got three of them. You're going well, to name one that's in my list for sure. I got Wonderful Christmas Time by Paul McCartney. Hate that fucking song. Okay, by him specifically. All right. I got Feliz Navidad. Well, that's because you're stupid. But I Hate that fucking song. Okay. And Meli Kaliki Maka. Ah, Meli Kaliki Maka. I hate that shit. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 a lie. <laughs> yeah, okay, I hear you. <laughs> yeah, all of them are hot garbage. Any, if it ain't American Christmas music, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Get these Brits, the Spanish, uh, and the Polynesians. Get them out. Uh, <laughs> I'm on American Christmas. Uh, so anyway, I mean, you ready to just dive right in, dude? Dive right in. All right. So my number ten spot. Um, it's just you. You, you kind of you gotta have it. So I mean, this dude is one of the better co- like of covering any song in general, really. Like Mr. Buble. Yeah, Michael Buble. I don't remember it having this long of a song. I cannot intro. tell you an original Michael Bublé track, but I can name you a bunch of his covers. Ooh, he covers Sinatra very well. 
He has a great voice for Sinatra. And this is going to ease right in, you know? Could have skipped a lot of that. It's beginning, beginning to, to look, look a lot like Christmas. If you walk into a department store, this is the song. It, it's on every time. If you walk into any department store but in December, this is the song of capitalism right here, baby. Yeah, no doubt. That, you hear that? That's the sound of the economy being stimulated. He's got such a smooth voice. Oh my gosh. It's like, look a lot like Christmas. He should be a bigger deal, but he's not. Because well, all of his best songs are covers. He needs to hire a good songwriter. Dude, I thought I remembered. I thought I remember Michael Bublé having an album of like original songs. Couldn't tell you. I mean, I couldn't tell you either. But anyway, got to have that one in the top. I know 10. he did a track with Boys to Men. Really? And it was pretty nice. Okay, so that was my number ten spot. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas by Michael Bublé. My number nine, another, another all time what, dude. I just listened to this earlier. Boo. I mean, I can just look it up real quick. Dude, I literally did it already. What's it saying? What? There's no other version? I mean, we'll just try this one. An error occurred. Dude, what is going on? the whole app out. Dude, what is going on right now? Oh, wait. All right, so my, ba my bad, people, but let's try this one more again. This is our second technical difficulty. Um, Does any other song play? Yes. Yes. So I just gonna have to just say the song. Hold on, dude. Dang. Or, or YouTube it. Dude, I literally just listened when to it. When it's out, go for the tube. You know, we'll do the Sinatra version then. Go. White Christmas? No. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. More like these nuts roasting on your chest. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Not gonna lie, this is a trash pick. Jack Frost nipping, nipping at your nose. Yuletide carols being sung by a choir. Dude, the name of the song is The Christmas Song. That's the name of the song. Everybody knows. That's that's eh. no, this is another just so all right. So there's a difference, right? It's when I was making the list, it's difficult to decipher between one, is it fun, or two, is it just an all-time classic? This is an all-time classic. If you're if you like you have to have this on the playlist, it's more low-key. Oh wait, no, wrong. But anyway, so the, it's it's the Christmas song. It's originally by Nat King Cole. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, it to me it it belongs. Wait, let me get back to the actual list now. Um, if you listen to Christmas music in general, like I actually don't have a lot of like old school, old like like old 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 school like actual Christmas carols. I don't really have hardly any of those in my list. Mm -hmm. I just got jams. I got jams, dude. Okay, so that was my number nine spot, the Christmas song that he Nat King Cole. My number eight spot, you're hating on this because you're an idiot. Oh, one of those. Um, Police Navi Dog. This song is fun, dude. I don't care who you are. Lame. Feliz Navidad. I probably hate because I failed Spanish in high school. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. This is one of the most high energy Christmas songs in the game. Nah, you're wrong. Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas. Yeah, dude. I mean, Merry Christmas. I want to wish uh, Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. All right, so Feliz Navidad by Jose Feliciano. Um, in the eight spot. Um, because it belongs there. You know. All right. Hopefully, the rest of these songs will play like they're supposed. Number ten, bona fide jam. People, this is a very black and white song either you love it or you hate it i've got
Miss Ariana Grande. Santa tell me. Okay. This song is is pretty good though. I can't give it all away if you ain't here. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> So yeah, this is one of the newer classics. Okay. I actually like this song. It's a fun song. That's fair. Yeah. But I mean, it's not... I, I guess my list is more all-time classics. Mine is a mixed bag. Okay. Songs like I wouldn't mind listening to, like if I, or like a march. Actually, pretty much every one of mine is, an, is a classic. Yeah. Not a Christmas carol, but a Christmas jam. One of them I listen to year-round. Okay. All right. All right. So that was my number 10, my number nine, all-time classic. Okay, wait, is this the Beastie Boys? Run DMC. Run DMC, okay. Christmas and Hollis. It's it's just a, a good song. I don't know that I've ever heard it. You never heard Christmas in Hollis? I mean, maybe when they start singing. I don't think so. Really? It did make me think of Dirty Nursery Rhymes, though. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, Andrew Dice Boy? No. No. Uh, Public Enemy. You know I can't think of the name of something when I'm listening to something, dude. All right, so that's my number nine. <laughs> I can't believe you never heard Christmas. Two Live Crew. See, two I, Live Crew. Whenever I'm not listening to something, I can think. Love Two I, Live. Yeah, Dirty Nursery. All right, so, classic. <laughs> so my number eight. Do you have any Richard Cheese in your list? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what this is either. I won't be home for Christmas by Blink One Eighty Two. Okay. It's classic Blink One Eighty Two sound. Yeah. See, this ain't Christmas music, dog. <laughs> yeah, it is. Why isn't it? This is this is two thousands uh, alt rock or pop, it's, punk, punk rock. It's Christmas time again. I hear you. Yeah, I have not heard this one either. It's 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 a jam. I'm assuming there's a lot of this in your list. <laughs> What's going to be funny is this juxtaposition we're going to have from your seven, your your eight to my seven. All right, so what you got? Right. So my number seven, we're going back with another absolute classic. Real Christmas music, dude. We're going different routes here. All right, so you're I, going for the classics. Well, I mean, this is Christmas music, dude. A holly jolly Christmas. Holly jolly Christmas. Uh, Burl, Burl Ives? Burl Ives. He was the snowman. Eves or Ives? Ives. He was the snowman in the Rudolph the Reindeer, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer movie. I was the voice of it? Yeah. Have a holly jolly Christmas. And when you walk down the street. Okay. All right. So that's. That's my seventh spot. I don't know what that was. Okay. You, me. Oh, holy mistletoe. All right, so that was my seventh spot. My number six spot. I mean, I'm just going to keep the classics rolling here. Bobby Helms. We'll get there. Okay. You got to have this one in there. What number is that? My number six. All right, we're going to get back to it? Yeah. All right. Oh, wait, do you have this version? Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I thought you were going to have, you know, something wild. All right. So, my number seven. Merry 
I hope you have this ranked. No. Merry Christmas. Is this Hanson? In sync. In sync. Oh, okay. Merry Christmas. Happy holiday. Technically, this is a classic. This is from like 99. Yeah. Wait, who also was it? Aaron Carter had a version of this too? RIP, homie. Yeah. He died very recently. A rare, good original Christmas song. Yeah. That's your seven? That's my seven, baby. Okay. All right. My number, with that one. my number six. The fact that you've had it in your honorables and not ranked, it kind of pisses me off. I got Mr. Chuck Berry. Uh, run, Rudolph, run. Yeah. Chuck Berry's an OG, dude. It makes me think of uh, Johnny B. Good. Yeah. It's basically the exact same beat now that I think yeah. of. That's the exact same as Johnny B. Good, dude. Now that you mention it, very similar. Hold on, dude. I'm going to pull up Johnny B. Good and play it immediately after. Yeah, that's exactly the same. Run, run, run. <laughs> it's like the exact very similar, very, very similar. I mean, they're both Chuck Berry, to be fair. Uh, all right, so that was your six spot? Six. Yeah, run, 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 Rudolph, run is, an, is, an, is a banger. All right, so we're going, dude, I mean, mine is all oldies but goodies. My number five spot. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. I got White Christmas by Bing Crosby. Bing Crosby tap dance with Danny fucking Kane. What? Christmas vacation. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Just like the ones I used to know. Yeah, dude, see. Where the trees are. Listen and children. All right, listen we're gonna roll from that into one even more bluesy. From what? we're going from White Christmas. Hold on. I mean, get, uh, uh, very unlikely that you have my number four. I mean, I didn't think you would think this of it. This one's obvious. I'm going from White Christmas to Blue Christmas. How would I not have Elvis? <laughs> Blue Christmas by Elvis. Okay. That's my number four. All right. Well, I mean, well, I mean, uh, we're just going to get a little taste of it here and we'll run it back when. You... <laughs> All right. We're going to get back to that. One. I'm surprised you have it. Honestly. I'm surprised you have it. No, dude. I mean, I have, I have, the, I have that on vinyl in the living room right now on the record play. Hey, I ain't mad at it. All right. So okay. my number five. Your number five spot. You already had it. Yup. I mean, you got to have it in there. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell, Never heard another word out of Bobby Helms, but hey, one hit wonder. Now the jingle hop has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Yeah, it's one of the funnest old school Christmas jams. Yeah. So yeah, that's my number five and my number four. I mean, get in there, you know what I'm saying? Really, the only good song on that whole album, honestly. Ah, Paul of Elvis's Christmas. 
Oh, 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 Okay. I'm just saying. So that was your four spot? That was my four spot. I got to pull up YouTube for my number three. My number three. Another throwback. It's the most wonderful time of the year. All right. So if when you walked in the department store, if Michael Bublé wasn't on, this song was on a thousand percent. It's the most wonderful time. God, this is getting it's like hype for Christmas. Season. Yeah. Even though we're recording this a week before, eh. I'm still in the zone. Oh, yeah. I'm zoned in. Like, we're recording this like tornado warnings. And- yeah, <laughs> pretty much. This is what we do for you people. It's the happiest season of all. For hosting my for hosting All right, so yeah, it's the most wonderful time of the year by Andy Williams, another person never heard another word out of. Yeah, Andy Williams and uh, Bobby Helms really holding it down for us. All right, my number three, one of the rare Christmas songs you can actually work out to. Oh, here we go. Carol of the Bells by Trans Siberian Orchestra. Uh, oh, let it run. I did not. This- this track is a slapper. I did not think of this, dude. The Trans-Siberian Orchestra, I, I got to go see them when they come around again. Back when the Pelicans were the Hornets, they played this during a timeout around Christmas time. Dude, everybody was just fucking jacked coming out of that timeout. I think we lost that game to, like, the Nets <laughs> or whatever. But still. It's a spirit that counts. Man. Dude, just like that. Mm, the guitar comes in. <laughs> Oh, yeah, dude. This song's a banger. Man, this is like one of the few Christmas songs you can like mosh to. Oh, right there. I mean, yeah, that's a banger, dude. All right, I, I, I did forget about that one. That's that's on me. It does belong in the list. Yes, it is a Christmas jam. Not necessarily one you're gonna throw on at your family's Christmas party. Get right. a little too hype. Yeah, and just I'm like, pouring a drink. Yeah, you know? like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like that shotgun and beer. <laughs> hey, you know what, dude? This was chill for a minute. Let's hammer some this shotgun and take some shots. Take some shots of four roses, chase it with a, with a shotgun of Bud Light. Uh, that's yeah, that, that's that, what that music I get is. a little too hype on that one. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's like a, nice. What they should play at Brady's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Wait. Oh, dude, I forgot. We're I forgot too. to go tomorrow night, technically, if you're listening no, no, to this. Next week. Oh, yeah, you'll yeah. be listening tomorrow night. So, yeah, come uh, to Brady's tomorrow night. Oh, man. And we there. Hey, and don't say the song that I'm assuming we both got it. Our list. Yeah, we're singing it. Uh, if anybody uh, steals it at Brady's, just know that I'm going to boo you really yeah, loud. Just boo the throw, <laughs> throw boo, fruit at you or boo. something. All right, so that we was... Got, we got to touch base with Q and see if he's actually doing karaoke. Right, right. That'd right. be embarrassing. <laughs> All right, so that was your three spot? Yes. My number two spot. But to be honest, I put my number one in the one, and the rest of these could have been in just about any order. Number one's a clear number one. I'm not even going to play my number one because we're just going to let yours run. Okay, so my number two spot. Brenda Lee. Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party. No, in hindsight, I remember much, many less words of any of these than I thought I did. Yeah, you don't know shit. I don't know the words at all. The Christmas tree let the Christmas spirit break. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling. You will get a sense of little feeling when 
Oh. It's an all-time classic, though, dude. Rocking Around the Christmas Tree by Brenda Lee. In case you didn't catch that. Don't even know her. Don't know this. You wait. You don't know this song. I know the song. Oh. Hell yeah, I know the song. So yeah. I'm alone. I don't know who Brenda Lee is either. That saxophone, saxophone, very underrated. Very underrated. Underutilized. <laughs> so that is my number two spot. Number two for me. A little preface. I have it so high rank because I've grown up with this song telling my stepmom, my very Catholic stepmom, I will go to her midnight mass on New Christmas Eve if she can get the choir to sing this song right here. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Yeah, this song's trash. Oh my God, you're stupid. <laughs> now, I had it in my list and I went back and listened to it again. It's a silly song. Right. Fair. Like if I were to go Christmas Carolyn, this would be the song I'd be Carolyn. The granny was lit. Granny was lit. And we begged her not to go. I don't remember it sounding like this. Well, there's so many different versions of it. This is the same one that I listened to though. Oh. When we found her Christmas morning. Who thought to write this? At the scene of the attack. He's probably drunk too. She had hoof prints on her forehead. And incriminating call marks on, on her back. back. Grandma got run over by the rain. Fun song, I'm sure. Fun. Hell fun. Christmas is supposed to be fun. We could have recorded better right here, right now. <laughs> well, definitely. Whoever sings that's trash. All right, so just let number one play. All right, no, I know what it is. Hold on, before you play, go ahead and hit the a preemptive buzzer, we, like because we 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 talked about this before, and what we should have done. Like this is a song I'll listen to December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. What we should have done was lead like lead off with this as a super and like eliminate it from the list. No, nah, it has to be number one. It's got to be number one though. I'm going to let the whole thing play out. Got to. One of the greatest songs mm. of all time. I'm going to put my phone aside. It's going to enjoy it. Oh, one of the best burns of all time, too. Christmas. I don't want a lot for Christmas. All I want is you. <laughs> yeah. I don't care about the present underneath the Christmas tree. I just want you for my own. More than you could ever know. Make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas. This is where it gets fucking lit. You. Underneath the Christmas tree, I don't need to hang my stocking there upon the fireplace. Santa Claus won't make me happy with a toy. Oh, no toys, baby. No toys. I just want you for my own, more than you can ever know. Make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas is you. I don't know. I don't There's no way we can sing the entire thing, dude. Oh, boy. If somebody steals this song next tomorrow, <laughs> I'm going to be booing them just so we can get on stage and just upstage them. Just go take the mic from them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or just tell Q, if somebody requests this song, tell them no, that's ours. Uh, Yeah. All right. <laughs> Anyway, so obvious number one. I mean, all I want for Christmas is you by Mariah Carey. It don't get more obvious number one than that. Great, probably top three song of all time, just uh, outside of Christmas. 
I don't know about top three. I mean, but maybe I'm in the, the <laughs> I'm feeling a little holly jolly yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, it's just recency bias. I, I'll, I'll allow it. I'll allow it, you know? Dude, like I said, this song stays on the shuffle. I don't want a lot. I just want you. I just want you. It's kind of a burn, you know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not a lot. You're not much. <laughs> but you know what? I want you. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, rundowns. <clears throat> all right. You go first. My number 10. It's been beginning to look a lot like Christmas by Michael Buble. Nine, The Christmas Song by Nat King Cole. Eight, Feliz Navidad by Jose Feliciano. Seven, A Holly Jolly Christmas by Burl Ives. Six, Jingle Bell Rock by Bobby Helms. Five, White Christmas by Bing Crosby. Four, Blue Christmas by Elvis. Three, It's the Most Wonderful Time of Year by Andy Williams. Two, Rocking Around the Christmas Tree by Brenda Lee. And number one, All I Want for Christmas is You, Mariah Carey. All right, number 10, Stand to Tell Me by Ariana Grande. Nine, Christmas in Hollis by Run DMC. Eight, I Won't Be Home for Christmas by Blink-182. Seven, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays by NSYNC. Six, Run Rudolph Run by Chuck Berry. Five, Jingle Bell Rock by What's-His-Face. Four, Blue Christmas by Elvis. Three, Carol the Bells by Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Two, by Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer by Who Cares. Number one, All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Queen. (sighs) Had to have it. The Queen. I think Mariah may have made it on more lists than any other artist or person or thing and anything. I'm gonna get a, like a picture of Mariah now. We need through my that and uh uh Christian Bale, American Psycho. I feel like our first episode of the year we gotta reveal what the secret item was. Ah, yeah, because I did transfer all the videos on the external hard drive, so I still have all of them. I just have to upload. Yeah. Train. Oh, oh, there we go. Drink. Finish it. Last sip. All right. Next week, we do our Ooh. predictions, our rundown. We do our recap of uh, 2022 and our predictions for 23. And then also our top 50 movies. Hard. I didn't even get started. I, I have a list of movies. Like, I've been going back and watching classics, and I've been rating them. And, dude. I can't express this enough. I know, like, are you ranking movies that you just based off of what you love or ones you think are genuinely good? I'm going by what I love. I'm gonna go my favorites. My favorites. Okay, my favorites. Now, just like any other list we do, I'm gonna have some in there that just belong in there. Well, instead of saying top 50 movies, just say top 50 favorite movies. Well, that's tough. Okay. So I don't want to put like okay movies All I right. feel obligated to put like Casablanca or Gone with the Wind. Casablanca, very good. It's a good not movie. Not going to be in my top 50. Not though, my probably. top 50, though. I'm not going to put Citizen Kane there. Okay. Good movie, but not my top 50. Dude, I've been, I've been like, I, I, like I said, I, I've been going through watching a bunch of classics. And, dude, Coen Brothers movies, trash. Overrated. Very over. Now, the shot, interestingly, sure. Very interesting That's way. That's why they get a little overrated. Theatrically cool. But. Story, plot. Eh. I watched Hail Caesar. So many famous people in that. That movie is garbage. I think that I think that was just a paycheck movie. Uh, like, but, hey, I need some vacation money. Let's just do this. Let's uh, just phone it in. But anyway, so yeah, next week, dude, Hail Caesar sucked. It was true. Yeah, I, I forgot about that movie. Like until you, you literally, just mentioned literally, it. like, and I'm mad at you for bringing that back in my it life. It doesn't. Nothing happens. Yeah, like he gets kidnapped or whatever, and he just goes right back, and then that's it. Mm-hmm. That's it. <laughs> That's literally, he's not exaggerating. And That's it, literally the, the, the damn movie. And they recover him in the most uninteresting way possible. Like, literally nothing happens. No. He just goes and comes back. That's it. Don't watch the movie, people. It's trash. It's horrible. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, yeah, so next week, dude, that's two bangers. because uh, Coen Brothers are to directors as Daniel Day-Lewis is to actors. Okay. that I think that's very accurate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, so yeah, next week y'all are getting our recap of 22 and predictions for 23. Uh, should we do a celebrity death pool? I don't think so. I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah, you're going you're to guess three because you did last I'm year. I'm going to guess three. It's going to be a new tradition of mine. I guess three celebrities are going to kick it. <laughs> I'm one for three but, so far. No, no. Going forward, though, they have to be under 80 years old. Otherwise, it's too easy of a pick. They have to be under 80. All right. Too easy. All right. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Don't shoot your eye out. We'll see you next week. <laughs> All right. <laughs> BB guns, dude. But, peace. peace. <laughs> Till then, my darling.
darling, please wait for me till then. No matter when it will be someday, I know I'll be back again. Please wait till then. Our dreams will live the we are upon our love. I know we'll keep in our hearts till then.